Hello and welcome to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day because uh, currently I certainly am and I hope you all are. Uh, this recently started not long ago but I had this game for a while, Payday 2 since it came out but I really never got into it. Recently I've been playing with a lot of my re friends and uh, they really pulled me into the game and I recently started really to enjoy it so I'm going to be definitely making a lot of Payday 2 videos. Uh, today we're going to talk, take a look at the gadget assault pack that recently came out for $4.99 this is gonna be of course a two-parter video uh, where I'll this is first I'm gonna talk about the expansion and the patch and in the next video I'll, uh, there's gonna be actual gameplay and so on and I hope you guys of course check that out so let's jump right in uh, they released this new patch today of course on September 4th and they have introduced a buttload of things new weapons masks achievements and different other little changes that you you know might, that you might be interested in what well, uh, first of all they introduced several hardware weapons for example the clarinet assault rifle uh, the gecko assault rifle uh, Ga uh, Gowern uh, 3 Assault Rifle and the GL40 Grenade Launcher. Now, let's take a look at them. My personal favorite, at least in all this expansion that so far I've been able to get my hands on, is the Gecko Assault Rifle, especially considering the fact I have uh, Russian roots. I really like the AK and I like to spray. So, th this weapon, I guess, to me was more of, uh, you know, the tickled my pickle. Uh, so to speak. On top of the fact that this weapon is the most stable out of all of them and it really doesn't lack the accuracy whatsoever. It doesn't have the most ammo but it has the highest stability. For example, uh, this one has stability 12, accuracy 14. Here the stability is 19 and uh, 12. Even though this weapon of course is a lot harder to conceal and does generate threat a lot more and doesn't seem to do as much damage as for example the Gow Gowern 3 assault rifle slightly less but its magazine is right in between the clarinet clarion and the, of course the Gowern 3 ri assault rifle it will, with a good 120 uh, total ammo uh, I personally found that with the stability I was much having a lot ha uh, easier time to handling plus the fact that the accuracy is pretty high you know it was a really entertaining weapon personally to use and I would, of course, if you're trying to go for concealment, I would definitely uh, tr uh, recommend uh, using the Clarion Assault Rifle because it has the concealment of 24. And, of, and you know, this and my AK-looking rifle, the Gecko, doesn't have that high of the concealment, but to each person their own. And as you could see here, there are definitely available modifications here that allow these weapons to be converted. Uh, one of the fact that also the fact that Gecko has the most modification out of these three current weapons and including the fact that it could also convert into a sniper you know it has a sniper grip and it, it could function extremely long range and in short range for suppression fire depending on your gameplay and now we of, of course we have GL grenade launcher and with the two uh, types of available modifications such as the pirate stock and the pirate barrel of course with all the assassin creeds la lately hitting the market it's not surprising to me that oh my god we have have a pirate named weapon or oh, look at it this is actually now becoming a th common theme in many games across many industries sticking pirate stuff into it now we move on of course to melee weapon that progress through your levels uh, first we start with bayonet uh, then we move on our little hatchet bullseye uh, then the x46 melee weapon and the ding dong ding dong currently is the only weapon that you can really get an achievement with with this new patch which I will talk about later and the ding dong is personally my one of my most favorite weapons when I do stealth missions because of such a high level of knockdown uh, you know you don't always need to kill the person to get your point across so to speak now, now of course they also have the, uh, released four brand new masks that kind of look like superheroes or super villains you know you could definitely kind of see uh, apocalypse or not really apocalypse uh, well yeah Apocalypse from the X-Men kind of he got the same kind of a mouth design and so on and like you know that we got here the Hobgoblin from Spider-Man and this kind of looks like the you know the super uh, Superman's arch nemesis and so on 
Um, uh, let's see. Also, we have they've also you know you could find these patterns throughout the game with the materials and so on. And of course, here's the achievements, uh, which I have mentioned uh, previously. Uh, there's a good set of ten achievements here that you can go through. Uh, that could take you you know uh, you can cover them all in a single day. You know, in a single leap, you can almost do all of them within few hours. Or oh, depending on your skill level, and who you play with, can probably even do it faster but in any case I this in this seems to for me is a very val, uh, you know valid and very decent uh, assault pack in my opinion uh, especially for 499 this is completely worth it it's very interesting it's definitely worth the try you know it doesn't cost that much and it, I'm definitely gonna show you guys in the next video you know how this whole gameplay really goes well I hope you all enjoyed my little guide video on uh, you know walkthrough video on gauge assault pack on uh, payday 2 I hope you guys click like I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day.